Hey everyone, Base DS here, and welcome back to more Kingdom Hearts Unchained Key. And we're picking up once again with the story, but before we do that, we do have two small things that I quickly want to do. And first things first, we got some avatar board stuff to grab. Hey everyone, Base DS here, and welcome back to more Kingdom Hearts Unchained Key as we continue on with the story. But before we do that, I do have two small things that I want to get out of the way first. The first thing being, I got some avatar board stuff to grab, and we got about 1600 avatar coins, so we might as well. I just want to go ahead and focus on the HP and the cost and the. AP, so why not? We've got enough to go ahead and unlock um, a good number of them. I'm gonna say it's always a good thing to go ahead and get the HP built up on these things, so. Because luckily we are in the middle of zero AP. But that's only got about two more days on it as of this recording. But still, it is a good idea to just go ahead and have everything unlocked. After all, I'll be very dependent on that AP as we progress later on through the LP. Really? Oh, no, here we go. Come down and grab that AP there. And you know what? Might as well. Let's we'll go ahead and get them unlocked. And that looks to be everything. Well, um, in terms of the, uh, male outfits. Uh, come over here, unlock that. Uh, maybe I just might, might as well see if I can just unlock everything at this point. That I've currently got access to. Might as well. Get these out of the way before I start farming to get my Lux level up more to unlock more outfits and everything, so might as well. Alright, got that taken care of. Now let's take care of the little bunny outfit. Actually, yeah, you know what? I think I'm just gonna focus on the AP and the the AP, the cost, and the HP for right now. And if anything, I'll do some grinding this weekend to go ahead and get more coins built up. So I might as well go ahead and clear this board wide open. Alright, I'll just take those. Was up. Uh, huh. That's odd. I could have sworn I had collected all the male outfits. Guess I was wrong. Uh, that's good there. Now let me see. I don't know. We still got a good, decent amount of them, it seems. That one fully maxed out. Uh, 
Uh, okay, there we go. Grab the AP there. And yeah, I'll just go ahead and grab these. Okay, yeah, but I still got plenty more male outfits. I don't know what I was thinking. Alright, and I think that might just about do it, unless I can find... Here we go. And that'll just have to do it for now. So that takes care of the first thing on our list. Second thing we're going to take care of is that right now we currently do have a guilting campaign going on. So I'm going to go ahead and re-roll on some of the medals that I have and hopefully get their guilt attack increased. So then let's go ahead and use Bell and Beast first. Where is that other copy at? There it is. Okay, so usually for tier 5s, it's usually between 80 to 150 percent during a non-guilting campaign. But during the guilting campaign, it's increased from 100 to between 150. Well, between those two. So, this thing's already going to get a 20 percent um, damage increase. So... Let's cross our fingers and hope we can get higher. So come on, what's my percentage gonna be? Okay, 114, not that bad. And on top of that, we get a new trait. Okay, damage and rates, 40%. Nothing I can really do about that. Okay, so now we have Minnie and Daisy. Of course, granted, thanks to my Illustrated Cage 2 Kyrie, it's pretty much useless right now, but let's go ahead and try and get a better guilt on it anyway. So here we go. Okay, not bad. 125%. And for our trait, we get extra attack power 40. Okay. So, just because of that alone, it pretty much somewhat made it similar to an illustrated Kyrie. I mean, granted, it doesn't have any of the um, power, strength, and magic. Um, Increase in defensive and uh, decreasive properties, but still not bad. But granted, I'm not gonna go ahead. And I'm not gonna use it because Kyrie is so much better. And yes, when I get the remaining medals, we're gonna go ahead and guilt Illustrated Halloween Sora. I just gotta wait for the next VIP event. So let's go ahead and see if we can get an increase on the King, Donald, and Goofy. It's sitting at 115, so... I don't know if we can get that higher or not. Where's the... Okay, there it is. Here we go. It's either going to stay the same, or it's going to increase for us. So come on, what do we got? I was at 115, and... Ah! Really, it didn't increase at all. Ah, okay. RNG was not on my side right there. But what about the trait? Ground enemy defense. Uh, okay, yeah, that'll be really helpful considering the... Special Attack of the Metal outright ignores attributes, so... Okay. I'm good with that. I am good with that. And so, for this next one right here... 
I'm gonna go against my better judgment on this. Right now, Illustrated Cage Tukari is sitting at 101. I would like to go ahead and try and increase that, but as you just saw, I really, really don't want to risk it, and she ends up staying 101. So, recently, the official Twitter ended up getting, I believe, 80k subscribers. And because of that, we got a Mickey and Brooms. So, you're probably going to hate me for this, but I think I'm going to go ahead and use it on my Sora and Roxas, because chances are who knows if and when we'll ever get another medal for me to reroll on this because that, that is just an awful guilt right there and I really want to improve that so where is that metal hiding there it is it's sitting at 50%, but we already know it's going to get a big increase right there. Can we possibly get it at 90, perhaps? Come on. At least give me 85 to 90%. I'll be fine with that. At that point, I can just go ahead and magic mirror it. Okay, 73. So it only went up 13%. So yeah, it may have seemed like a waste of Mickey and Brooms, but I didn't want to risk it with Kyrie, and she ended up being the same. I would rather wait until I end up pulling another copy of her, so. But we are just going to leave it at that. And as for now, we've got some more story to get back to. So now it's time to head back to Wonderland, uh, not Wonderland, Dwarf Woodlands. And we're looking for the Dark Ball Heartless, so this will be fun. Equipped only power metals. Okay, well in that case I'll go ahead and use Treasure Trove here. But yeah, it may have seemed like a waste using it on Sora and Roxas, but... After seeing what I got for the King, Daughter, and Goofy, I just really didn't want to risk it. Because that's the risky thing about guilting a high-tier medal, even when there's a guilting campaign in progress. If you end up guilting for it, and you try to increase it, 50% odds it's going to end up staying the same, and I just didn't want to risk that for her. I would rather wait until I got another, another copy of her, or if I end up getting VIP again the next time they do, they, they get the, uh, <laughs> stuttering like a madman, the next time that they do a uh, Brooms VIP event. There's one right there! Alright, let's go ahead and take this Dark Ball out. But yeah. Ideally, it probably would have been the better route to go to, but I just didn't want to risk it. Considering at this point, I'm pretty much pay to play now. <laughs> it's no skin off my back now, especially whenever they do brooms, because the next time they bring br uh, the brooms VIP event back, yeah, I'm buying VIP that week. I will. So, that is not an issue whatsoever now. Alright, anyway, moving on. Noisy Mole. We gotta use two more special attacks. Okay, so luckily there is no Keyblade criteria, so I'm gonna go ahead and switch back to Starlight. Oh boy, there's a good amount of them here too. But luckily we have Aqua for that. And really Aqua was an, my HD Aqua was another candidate I was thinking of using that Mickey and Brooms on, but 
I don't know, I at least know they've given her out again over in Japan, so at least that shows me there's a chance that they could bring her back too, so, I don't know. How am I ever going to find the others with all this, with all these pests flying around? And these, what are these things? I've never seen them before in my life. Eh, don't worry about it, Grumpy. Alright, we'll go ahead and get these guys out of the way real quick. Uh, don't want to go over there real quick. Let's go upstairs. And we'll just take out these shadows real quick. Now let's go back downstairs. And we're just going to go ahead and over them. Granted, it didn't do the job, but don't worry. We'll get that Nova level increase later on down the road. There'll be plenty of time for that. Can you get anything good from that chest? Yeah, missile stone. Okay, not bad. Hey, you! I saw a parcel of pests over by the marsh. Ain't you gonna do something about them? Alright, you don't gotta be so pushy. Okay, we've got a large body hiding here. And continuing on. Uh, okay, cannot go anywhere back there, so... Let me just take them out. Alright, just three shadows. Crushed him like an ant. And there's our target. Go ahead and use Aqua to start things off with. And that takes care of that. Okay, good. A couple more medals we don't need. I don't know how, but they found their way inside the mine. Alright then, to the mine we go. Use three more special attacks. That's not going to be a problem since we have... Aqua up in front. Now let's go ahead and completely annihilate that lone shadow with her. And same thing with these guys. Okay, don't want to go that way yet. I don't want to come over to here. Okay, I thought that would have been something hiding there. Guess not. Except something was hiding right there. There's the dark ball. Let's go ahead and quick swipe them all. Now let's come up here, grab this chest. Alright, anything up here? Alright, nothing there. So let's go ahead and take this dark ball out. And 
only use sword and rocks just to follow up. And let's go ahead and nova it to death. And all objectives right there completed. Ooh, Jewels and Ori Calcum, nice. I think one of my Keyblades is actually needing that right now. I'll check here in a second. They're everywhere. Leave no stone unturned. Now, don't worry. You're making us do a pretty thorough search of the place. Anyway, real quick, let's just jump on over to the equipment. I think one of my Keyblades needs... Aha, uh -huh, I was... Okay, well... All of them currently need it. Uh, let's see. Which one do I want to do next? Because um, I'm not going to get another Ori Calcum for another 25 quests. Um, why not? Let's go ahead and do Treasure Trove. There we go. Special attack gauge went up and we got another slot unlocked. I'll go ahead and do some more level ups later. Right now, let's get back to the story. Gotta trek down that armored knight. There we go. Uh, Violet Waltz. Just two of them. Okay, don't want to go that way yet. I want to go this way. Aha, uh -huh. there's the Morning Star. Wow, Aqua just completely gutted it. And I'll reap the rewards right there. And there's the Armored Knight. Go ahead and over the place first. And we'll just take it out right there and then. And the objectives cleared on that one. Let's see what was in that chest. Ah, really? That was a bit of a letdown. Oh, okay. Inflict 2,000 more damage with one hit. Um, I think Aqua should be able to take care of that job, no problem. Really? Alright, let's go. Oh, yeah. Those hits did about 3,000 each, so yeah, no problem there. It'll be the ones where they ask you for 5,000 damage that'll be quite challenging. But 
but I don't think that's until we get to about, I want to say somewhere in the 400s, in terms of the quest numbers. Alright, we'll just nuke the small fry first. And then we'll have Aqua finish the rest. And just think, if this was the older version of the game, I wouldn't even have all this much firepower. Because I would still be about... 98 quests away from being able to guilt. But that was then, this is now. Thanks a bunch. I knew you were the one. For, you were the one for the job. I wonder where they came from. Wonderland's been infested too. I'll need to take care of them. I hope you're up for the task. Alright, so looks like we're heading to Wonderland. So with that out of the way, it looks like we're heading back to Wonderland as our Dark Ball Hunt continues. So, until next time, thank you all for watching, hope you're enjoying things so far, and I'll see you all again later.